Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. So I've been a uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've uploaded, and uh, there are a few things, major things in my life that are happening right now. So um, one of which is I'm working on a huge website um, that I got hired f uh, to create. Uh, it's it's a booking agency. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's really serious. Um, then I'm also creating a website for myself, uh, a business. I'm creating a business. And then uh, I'm also planning a lot of trips in the near future. You know, I'm going to be going um, on a cruise to the Baltic capitals that I just booked. Then I'm also, uh, I just booked a vacation to the U.S. for one month, you know, to visit my old home. So it's been uh, a really interesting few weeks for me. It was my birthday like a month ago. It's been really uh, interesting. So, um, well, let's get a little bit on topic. Um, so this is the eighth part of the Airbnb series. Um, and what we're going to be trying to do in this video, but I only have like 20 minutes to record because I got to go. And I don't know when I'll... When I'm gonna be able to record again because I said I'm really busy but what we're gonna try to do in this video is I'm gonna try to create this moto which is gonna be really easy no problem but then I'm also gonna try and create something similar to this search me because I won't be creating these drop downs because that's um, that's pretty hard to do and it's gonna take me like I don't know 10 tutorials to make that so and let's not even talk about the calendar so what I'm gonna do is just uh, one input source where we're gonna animate it and stuff like that. We're gonna style it, it's gonna look sick. So let's get right into the tutorial. What we're gonna do first is um, I'm gonna create a new comment. So hold on, is this in the... Okay, so I'm gonna create a new comment called uh, Moto. And I'm gonna create a div, gonna give it a moto wrapper div. Now I'm gonna write something that I've never wrote in this tutorial before, div class row, and I'm gonna explain what it does. So we're gonna also go ahead and define it in our CSS. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating, well actually let's come to this website. Um, you can see how everything is sort of in one main column. Um, I'm not talking about the, these uh, spaces. I'm talking about look how uh, everything. Just look at my cursor. It's uh, right here. Look at my cursor. Everything flows in on one column and on this side as well. So we're gonna be creating that column, and that's a pretty um, pretty often oftenly used a uh, method when it comes to web design, and most people use like. Um, not backbone like what was it called? Ah, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Not much. Real. I can't remember the um, the CSS that they used. Um, I want to say font also, but it wasn't. Okay, whatever. But we're gonna define it. Um, and so basically, oh, my cat stepped on my keyboard. Uh, so it's basically we're gonna say max width 170 pixels because we want the width of the um, uh, the container to be 970 pixels and then well first we're gonna say position relative height auto margin zero auto so it's gonna be in the center okay now I want to say row I uh, know um, media all and max with a um, thousand pixels uh, we're gonna take that or wait hold on no, we're gonna say actually nine hundred nine hundred seven. No, we're gonna say actually a thousand. Okay, so row, and then we're gonna say padding uh zero fifteen pixels, and uh, box sizing border box. Let's open our CSS browser tech support. Oh, what is that? Oh, pfft. CSS browser. Oh, why is it open in email? CSS browser. There we go. Box sizing. Hope I didn't reveal an email or something. WebKit. Bo uh, WebKit. Box. Come on. Box 
sizing border box mouse box sizing border box let's give it a background color of like yellow just so we can preview it and then i'm gonna write uh something inside there we go so you can see how everything falls in one column now uh what why i did the media query in the padding is for um when it's so it, we can make it responsive so when we ref um when we resize you can see how there's 15 pixels of um it's 15 pixels in so there's a padding of 15 pixels and it's not like right next to the border of the web page which looks really ugly if it is like that oh we i forgot to make this responsive so we might do that in the next tutorial hopefully we will do it eventually but you know okay uh i'm gonna create uh an h1 and say and i'm gonna call it like moto um, i think i'm gonna make it an id and then h1 and then i'm gonna copy this start your next trip on their oops on airbnb your next trip was it okay so after trip we're gonna add a little well i'm gonna do this there we go okay uh let's inspect it and see what the font size is wow that's uh big hmm font size 48 pixels so okay let's see moto i'm gonna come here and say moto css moto font size 48 pixels uh font okay 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 font wait 200 um oh wait uh i did include 300 off camera so you can go ahead and include that in your tag so before it was like this what i did was added 300 in a comma so oh my god my cat again so font weight 300 it says 200 here but for us it's going to be 300 because 200 uh you can barely you know see the text color 484848 color 4 come on color 4848 now i want to come here and inspect this color uh so the font family is circular but i think we use like roboto i don't know why but oh well um well i'm not getting the color no i'm not oh, oh there we go uh color so we're gonna wrap where to in a spam uh not spam span so oops uh span slash span and we're gonna say moto span um uh, color like this and then font weight uh, uh 700 let's refresh there we go I'm going to remove the background color of yellow. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, now, I believe it's about 30 pixels, both up in top the padding, so, or the margin. Uh, wait. Why did I even define, uh, come on, cat. Well, literally, can't catch a break for my cat. Uh, I have no idea why I define Moto Wrapper when he won't be using it. Uh, so we can come here and say margin 30, uh, 30 pixels zero. Oh, uh, what if you do padding? Yeah, uh, I, I guess it's 60 pixels. Yeah. Now let's see how it acts. Okay, we're also gonna be creating it, making it responsive, so, you know. But does it look similar? 
Uh, I think there's a little bit of letter spacing. Do we have letter spacing here? We don't. Hmm. That's weird. I usually always define letter spacing, but it turns out I forgot. So I'm gonna inspect it. See the letter spacing and the line height. Line height 56 pixels. Why? Letter spacing 0.8. Um. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not gonna define it for everything. I'm just gonna define it for the moto because, you know. So mine is 0 0.8, 8 pixels. Uh, that, that's not, that can't be right. Yeah, it's, it's probably 0 0.8. Wait, hold on. I'll start at like 1.8. Honestly, I think it is, you know, 1.8. And can we seriously talk about how circular and roboto are like literally the same? I mean, we we're using roboto, right? And here it says circular. That's really weird. They're like exactly the same. Or maybe this is something else. I don't know. No, nope, still circular says. Okay, weird. Um, you know what? I'm really in a hurry, and I'm gonna record this video. I don't know, when I get back, I gotta go to tennis. Um, this is gonna be it for this tutorial. It's a little bit shorter than I expected uh, because I was gonna try and do this, but really no time at all. Sorry for such a rush, but hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.